Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I am again, once again sitting outside Tesco where that um, coffee shop is because I'm early. Honestly, I my time management is poor. I am either hours early for something and sit in the car or super late. I don't, I don't love it. Um, however, when I got here, I was not feeling great the last couple of days. Um, and I got here, I thought I just need to eat something, but I need to eat something that's not total garbage. So I've been sitting in the car eating chicken drumsticks. Make of that what you will. But, and also, you know, a Coke, because <laughs> let's not go crazy. Let's not go crazy. Uh, and I am going to have a coffee when I go in there, but I've just been kind of hanging out. I just did a swap with Karen of various things including um the stickered advents and oh if you ordered an advent candle a lot of those are made and ready to come to you probably this week so that's exciting uh, and i'm gonna meet my friend in there and then we're gonna go for a walk after this little drop off which is gonna be fun um an outdoor walk maybe that's gonna change everything maybe i've not been feeling great and that's gonna be it i'll be like oh my god walking outside and a glass of water who knew we've been for a walk around the lake and we're already on our second coffee of the day we've come back from the lake honestly i don't do any walking anymore and it's not like i feel unfit but at the same time it felt like quite a different thing for my uh, body to be walking kaz has brought me back they borrowed the stuff from um the store that she's brought me back so we're gonna go and unload it out of the car now and i'm gonna give her a candle I'm sorry, you missed these. They will be back next year. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to sort out another, like, Monday afternoon or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm busy. Where's the thing on Tuesday, you said? I tell you what, just being outside. Being outside, being out with my friend, probably the social interaction. I am wiped out. It is now nearly half past five. I came back with not a lot of time to spare before the school run. Um, and I feel like I just sat there in a daze, using that time in no way productively. I was just like, like I could have done with a nap. I'm not used to doing things in the week outside of the house. It's so weird because I'm totally an extrovert. But I feel like as I get older, I feel like that's like my most used phrase. As I get older, things are changing, man. And one of those things is social interaction is, is much less energizing and much more draining, which is super weird. Also, my friend gave me some like really potentially exciting news, which I can't share with you yet, but it could be really exciting. It could be really exciting. Exciting for her, but I'm totally going to piggyback on the excitement. Um... So I'll let you know if that comes to anything, but I will be keeping my fingers crossed for her. Uh, me and Milo have just rewatched the last couple of episodes of Only Murders before this evening's watching of the, of the latest episode. Um, we have some new theories. If anyone's following along, Milo spotted that um, when they went to Long Island to visit Charles's sister, Doreen, there is a... Um, doll in Doreen's house that's got um, pom-poms that have got like silver ribbon. Could that be the thing from the beginning? The, the tinsel? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Milo. Milo spotted that. I did say to him, like, that's been kind of ignored. We just were like, it's not tinsel. Let's forget about it. But... Oh, episode nine. I'm so excited for the finale already. Took Lee's car today because he took my car to have it cleaned um, while he's at work. And uh, I nearly scared Milo to death because switching from a manual to an automatic, it's not, it's not my best skill. It's not my best skill. So immediately, like before we'd even left where we park, um, I like put on the brakes accidentally reaching for my clutch. When I'm driving an automatic, I have to put my left leg to the side and consciously repeat to myself, don't use that leg, don't use that leg. So yesterday I was convinced, I just was like so not used to leaving the house that going for that walk with my friend was like, totally wiped me out, made me feel not great. I feel so bad today. I think I might have a bug. 
Last night when I went to bed, I was like, this can't be food poisoning again. I can't, I can't, I can't do that again. Um, but I don't think it is that I just feel rubbish. Also, at least I was snoring in my sleep, which is not my thing. Um, so it's kind of weird because I feel like I've got a bug, but also really kind of like stuffy. I realise my vlogs have just devolved into me complaining about my life. And that's not what my intention was at all. But I really do feel rubbish right now. Never such a difficult time getting out of bed. <laughs> on a Thursday, because I don't because I don't know if you're familiar with this, but on a Thursday I don't have to do the school run. Anyone who watches my vlogs regularly will be like, we know. Thursday's your favourite day. Um I don't have to do the school run in the morning. And usually I get up at the same time and get some stuff done early. And I'm like, oh, this is time that I don't usually have. I slept until five minutes before I had to log on which I never get the benefit of working from home in that because I have to get up and do like a, two hours before I would log on anyway. Uh, what is it like? You know, like those of you who either you've got older children or like totally independent children or no children at all or somebody else deals with them in the morning. What is it like to have worked from home? I suppose it's the same as in the holidays. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know what it's like. But what is it like to be all the time? What was it like in covid when you were working from home and it was just you. I almost want to go back and, and get a do-over and not have to homeschool children. Just like a week of it, like, wow. I'd like a week of furlough without having to homeschool children, without actual lockdown. And just what I want is a week of annual leave by myself. I think that's what I'm describing. I've come outside and it's glorious. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I mean, first of all, I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans. I've been in like pajamas all day and I got dressed, put on some makeup and was like, you know, things aren't so bad. While we're on the topic of feeling better, there are two things that I keep meaning to talk about but I haven't this week. Uh, one of them is this. I think I maybe have mentioned this at some point, but I'm going to mention this in as many videos as I can in the next couple of weeks because it is a game changer. If you are suffering with, I mean, not even chronic pain, just generally have them in. This is like an enormous cool and soothe, if you're familiar with those. It's like a gel membrane situation. Um, I was not, I didn't think this was gonna be anything. Love deep heat, hate the application of deep heat, have to get Lee to do it. He, I mean, he'll always, if I asked him to do something, he would do it, but I know he hates it. He has a problem with like things on his hands. Um, so that is like the worst thing that I could ask him to do. Don't like the spray versions. The patches are basically just heat patches, which they're fine, but they don't stick very well. And it's the same as, if I'm home, it's like the same as my heat pad. This is comp like, I can't over exaggerate on how fantastic this is. This is like, I would rather have this than painkillers, which is incredible. Absolutely amazing. I, I can't explain to you, I've got one on right now, and it is the exact feeling of, deep heat or whatever it's called, the deep freeze, that exact feeling, but it is in a contained patch. It doesn't smell nearly as strong. I can kind of, you can kind of slightly smell something menthol, but it's nowhere near as strong. So I wear this in the office and I can feel it. It's like really seriously on there. And I can feel this at full strength for, I would say six hours. Like I wore mine in the office last week. I was there for 10 hours. And when I took it off at night, I could still feel it a little bit, but like full strength, probably I would say six hours. It's incredible, seriously amazing. And you need to try it. I think they're just under two pounds each for one of these, which is not, you know, it's not the most cost effective, but I could use one of these every day and potentially have no painkillers. And that's amazing. So I want to mention that. And then the second thing, I don't have to show you because I couldn't find them in Tesco, but I did find them in Morrison's. And it's not anything to do with pain, but it is to do with feeling good. They are the Itsu chicken soup dumplings. If you watched my Hong Kong vlogs, you'll know I wanted to try soup dumplings. The closest I got was at the airport. I got like dumplings in a soup, which amazing. But I wanted to try the dumplings that have soup inside them. A couple of people told me get them from various places in the UK. Um, and I just, it was just a new thing that had, that come to me before I went and I was really disappointed that I didn't try them. Uh, but they're in Morrison's, maybe Asda as well. I don't think Tesco, unfortunately. Um, there are six of them. You can microwave them in 
the packet that they come in, always amazing. Uh, and they are, I mean, really, really tasty anyway, even if you did whatever, you know, like, even if they didn't have the soup in them and you ended up frying them and the soup went everywhere, because I would imagine it probably would, but really, really tasty anyway, but the soup that is inside them, it makes it something that can feel a little bit stodgy and not very fresh to eat. It makes it feel like really comforting. I don't really know what that feeling is. You know, like when you eat broth, what would you call that? Like comforting. Not, it doesn't feel stodgy. You don't feel like weighed down and like heavy, but it's not fresh. What is the thing that you would say to describe eating something that was like a brothy soup? Because that's what it is. Oh, so tasty. Tonight I'm making, because I couldn't find those, which I'm so disappointed. Uh, tonight I'm making this, the chicken ramen, because everybody likes the chicken ramen from Wagamama's. Um, it doesn't come with a lot of stuff, honestly. I'll show you. I got two of these, because I thought if we like it, my will probably have it. It's fairly disappointing. I feel, really, I won't buy this again. I'll just get the ingredients to make it, because it seems like it's going to be something special, but in actuality... I don't know how much this was, but let's say it was three pounds because I think it probably was somewhere around that. This is how many noodles you get. That's not enough. That wasn't even enough for two of us. So I also bought some fresh itsu noodles to bulk that out. You also get the um, chicken stock. It's not even called anything else. Chicken stock, might as well be an oxo. You get chili oil, which we won't use, but you could have chili oil in already. And then I think this is sesame seeds, which I did use some, but again, it's almost a very small amount of noodles and chicken stock boxed up to be chicken ramen. This is, this is effectively very expensive super noodles. Um, I will be making that this evening with actual chicken. And it's a bit like you get those like enchilada kits. It's like comes with everything apart from all the things you need. Um, I'll be making some chicken and I'm also going to make some vegetable, or maybe chicken gyoza from the freezer. I think so. But Lee prefers his fried and I prefer mine um, steamed. Not that that's important, but I like to put them in with the soup. It's just nice. So yeah, as you can tell, maybe, as I can tell, I'm feeling... 300% better. I've gone from like really feeling very rubbish and just real it, it gets you down when you're not feeling great i've really gone from like a minus 50 to a plus 4000 that's what i feel like today um i've got a little bit of work left to do then i'm going to make tea and we're going to watch agatha there are two great shows on right now agatha and only murders and i thought yesterday because only murders is really consuming my every waking thought um there's one last episode on tuesday and then what? Then what? Then maybe I will actually write the book that I keep saying I'm going to write. Someone did say November is novel writing month. So maybe, maybe all of the cogs that were turning for only murders can turn for that mystery novel that is percolating. Because it's like, it either gets written in a day or it never gets written. I have a week off next week, so anything could happen.